that's got very good grasp. The dexterity that offers hope to paralysed humans. This rat used to have a spinal injury, its paws all but useless. But gene therapy has reconnected nerves in the spinal cord and it now has almost normal movement, including an ability to reach, grasp and feed itself. It's not a one-off. Several rats at King's College London have made the same remarkable recovery. In some of the tests we looked at, the treatment worked very early on, say within one to two weeks, and that was tests such as this ladder walking test, where they have to be able to grip the rungs of the ladder and be able to use coordinated movements to get across. But in other tests that take much more skilled movements, such as picking up an object, those tests require really skilled muscle function. You need to be able to reach, uh, grip, uh, turn the wrist and then lift it back. They took a much longer period of time, so we started seeing recovery around about five to six weeks. In a groundbreaking study, scientists injected the gene into the injured area of the spinal cord. There it began to produce an enzyme that broke down the scar tissue that was sealing the ends of the damaged nerve fibres. That allowed the nerves to grow, reconnecting the spinal cord and restoring muscle movement. The scientists have now gone one stage further. The rats in the study were treated almost immediately after they had the injury, but these guys have been treated up to a month later. And that's significant because it is the real world that many human patients are in. And there's every prospect that people who've been paralysed for sometimes for years might still be able to recover some function. Tara is partially paralysed from the neck down after falling from a horse four years ago. She hasn't given up hope of treatment that could recover muscle control. The biggest thing for me that I struggle with from my injury is a lack of independence. And if I have my hands, then that independence would be restored. Um, so I would be able to look after myself and cook for myself and feed myself and do all of those things that uh, the, most people would do without even thinking about it. So that would be a huge, a huge thing for me. The scientists need to be sure the treatment doesn't have side effects. As a safeguard, the gene is only active when the rats are given a common antibiotic in the drinking water, remove the antibiotic and the gene switches off. But even still, many more studies will be needed before the researchers are ready to test it in humans. Thomas Moore, Sky News.